Here's the first strike profile where the strike takes place one-ninth of the overall length. You can see the wave propagates from the strike point to the right, then it's reflected and turns around and propagates to the left. This simulation covers 2.27 microseconds, uh, milliseconds. Here is the sample collected along the string, showing that it is periodic, but not a perfect sine wave. Here is the spectrum, which shows we have harmonics at the first, third, fifth, seventh, nothing at the ninth, eleventh, and thirteenth. Here's the three-dimensional picture. Time starts over here at zero, moves along to 2.27 milliseconds, and then this is the position going along this axis from zero to 51 centimeters. Here is the second strike profile. This is symmetrical. Take, the strike takes place at the halfway point. And you can see there is no left to right propagation here. It simply goes up and down. Here is the signal gathered along the string, and here is its spectrum. A similar spectrum, we have one, three, five, seven, nine contributions, but there's also one here from the second harmonic as a consequence of the fact that we struck in the center, and there's a symmetry about the strike profile. Here is the three-dimensional plot again. Here's the last profile. This strike point is a little bit left of center. In fact, it's the length divided by 2.5. You can see that the wave does propagate a bit to the right. Then it comes back and starts to propagate a little bit to the left. Here is the sample of the values gathered along the stream, string. Again, periodic, but not exactly a sinusoid. And here is the spectrum. This time it shows a contribution, a little bit of contribution at the second harmonic, third, nothing at the fifth, seventh, and ninth. And here is the three-dimensional plot. And here that's the sound of the first strike point. Here's the sound of the th middle strike point. And here's the sound of the last strike point. And there's the sound of a pure 440 hertz signal.